I haven't only not beaten Elden Ring, I haven't played it. <laughs> Look, if it's raining shit outside, do you need to stand in it to realize you don't want to be in it? That's your argument. I really just want to see what other people's opinions of the game is. And by the way, there's a playthrough of Elden Ring on my channel. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it. But let's take a look at this uh, video. So Elden Ring completely sucks. And I guess it's up to me to prove it. Starting pretty good. And it is a charismaless, motivation-free, derivative, repetitive death loop. Wait, demotivation. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Motivation free. Motivation free. Like, what type of motivation is this man talking though? Are you saying that the game is not interactive enough for you, or you don't have the motivation to play, or it kills your motivation? Is that what you're saying? Because if you're saying that Elden Ring kills your motivation or it doesn't have any motivation, the game actually gives you motivation the moment that you open those doors because you get your ass beat at the first freaking enemy. And if you're a dumbass to attack the NPC, then you're gonna be screwed with the NPC all the time. But if you see the first, the, the tree sentinel, uh, he will be your first challenging. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna lose so many times that you are gonna make your mission to kill that guy <laughs> believe me i did my mission to kill that guy uh but elder ring does have motivation a hundred percent it does maybe his take is as if uh because he died so much then he lost motivation to play the game maybe that's how what he's saying at that point uh, yeah you could look at that way as well that is true. I'm not going to sit here and say that that is not a, an option. That is an option. Derivative, repetitive death loop. Uh, and a part of the death loop as well. Um, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Vaughn, come on, don't be so hard on a game. You haven't even beaten it yet. Oh, I hear those complaints from that Hollow Knight review, and I one-up you. I haven't only not beaten Elden Ring. I haven't played it. <laughs> Yo, how many minutes? Not even one minute and you're... I will click off this video. Give me a reason to keep on listening to you. I have never played any of their games and Elden Ring was the first game. So from experience of a complete noob that beat this game and without sometimes cheesing it, I did use spirit. Hey, kill me for it, okay? I never played these hard games in my entire life was my first time playing it personally bro if i beat it anyone can probably i will say elden ring is could be like the easiest game mostly because there are ways for you to make the game easier if you don't know those ways just watch that video on youtube he didn't even bought the game that's what i feel like did he even buy the game actually no why would he buy the game if he didn't even play it that would be the stupidest thing ever. Give me a reason to keep on hearing you. See, I am so attuned with my criticism. I don't even have to play a game anymore to judge it. Okay. Look, if it's raining shit outside, do you need to stand in it to realize you don't want to be in it? That's your argument. Quick question. Imagine all the movie critics, even nostalgia critic. Imagine if he didn't watch the movie. Imagine every critic didn't watch the movie or music reviewers or whatever the hell. They didn't hear the music. They didn't watch the movies. They didn't do anything. And they just gave their opinions based on the cover. <laughs> like this argument is unnecessary because you're doing a review. You need to know what you are reviewing. That's why it's called a review. You're reviewing your experience. You had no experience. How are you reviewing anything with no experience? Have you okay? You never played Elden Ring, but you probably play Dark Souls or something else from software games, right? I'm assuming. If you must know, I did watch and try to guide a friend through a two and a half hour live stream. How are you guiding somebody if you never touch the game? Guiding in what way? Wait, wait, wait. I need to see a fantasy stream series where the character roll into. I have a bad feeling about a boss, but is this you? Okay, maybe the name that he put here, it's his. But this is not guiding, you're just talking. Of nothing but pain and agony. So you have this brief little uh, cutscene trying to indicate that the Elden Ring has been... So basically, the person that you put on the corner there is your friend, not you. Man, your friend is probably mad at you at this point. <laughs> destroyed, and you as a tarnished are uh, quested to defeat all the bosses in this world, and that will restore power. Why does this matter? 
It's not like you have a dying mentor you need to take care of, or a wife and kid at home, any villagers to save. You have no motivation whatsoever. And you're labeled as a tarnished, which may as well be the N-word in the between worlds of uh, Elden Ring here. Because who wants to call themselves tarnished? Huh? What did he say? Because who wants to call themselves tarnished? So after Isn't like the the first Elden Lord, Godfrey, a tarnished? We call ourselves tarnished constantly. Now he could probably say because I'm black, that's why the N word passed. <laughs> <laughs> that's why i like okay you know let's be past that part a rudimentary hack and slash you, know, you got your character creation all this sort of stuff you get out into the open world oh wow it's so open which is code for we're not going to design levels anymore instead we just populate a world and then you get to play it the way you want to that's good yeah adventure how do you think Minecraft is so popular. You can do whatever the hell you want on Minecraft because it's open. Actually, it's not even open world. Minecraft is infinite. It's infinite, right? <laughs> because I have never found the Minecraft edge. There's literally limited, unlimited land. Maybe this is not the style of game that you like, which is fair. Except in this game, it punishes you for not playing it the way they want you to play it. That's wrong. This is a thing that I would literally say that is wrong. Everything else can be subjective to your experience, but guess what? You have no experience because you haven't even touched the game, but still your experience, the lack of it, but your experience. That is wrong because you can literally do whatever you want. If that NPC right there, you can kill it if you want to, right? off the bat you just need to dodge like a god the moment that you played the game because i'm pretty sure you you're not gonna be that good when, when you come out of the cave either way you can literally beat any boss the moment that you leave will it take you two years yeah pretty much will take you two years but you can beat anybody you want you can talk to the npc or you can beat his ass you can talk to the tree scent actually no correction you can beat the tree scent or get beat by the tree scent no, not talk to him then there's this tall guy on a horse and i guess maybe you want to avoid this because he's going to murder your ass you can avoid him or not like some people spend like hours like i saw a streamer uh, on youtube a girl streamer that literally spent like six hours <laughs> it was a bet by the way she was on a bet that she had to beat the tree sentinel. And she could just lost the bat. But she was hard boiled and beat the tree sentinel in six hours. <laughs> Which I don't got that patience. We're actually, make shit all progress in two hours of searching for your humble steed, which the game promised you. Bro, two hours? Bro, you just need to sit at the bonfire. What the hell? Like. <laughs> A saving grace, not bonfire, sorry. You just need to see it as a saving grace. Like, there's the first saving grace, right? You then touch it. The second saving grace, which is on the church. And then just literally sit on the third saving grace and you will get a maiden, a level up, and also your trusty steed. You can blame the game because they didn't give you all the freaking rules. Like, this is an adventure game. They don't give you the rules for Minecraft. There's a lot of stuff that they don't just tell you on Minecraft. You just need to discover. They don't tell you what levels is there to find diamond. You just have to find it. And the game knows that you eventually are going to sit at multiple saving grace. If you don't, that's on you. <laughs> like, that's on you. The objective is to sit on the saving grace. It is after this point, you have to look shit up and realize that the game wanted you to sneak past the tall guy on the mount. Rest at some campfire. See, this is the ridiculous part. Like, you don't need to even search this. You will physically sit on them just for the fact that they heal you. You will need to heal. And it's a saving point. How in two hours you're not doing that? I see a ring, but you're, it's labeled whistle, so lazy. Even better, return back to that asshole who called you a maiden list. I don't know about that one as well. You, <laughs> you, you can make the argument there. I don't know about that one. You may be right on that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he won't even recognize it. Since when did we program NPCs to have dialogue that doesn't update <laughs> to the shit? See? Well, what? I don't understand. Well, what is I recognize it. Asshole who called you a maidenless tarnish. Once you have a maiden, he won't even recognize it. Since when did we pro- If you sit the other ring. 
program NPCs to have dialogue mm. that doesn't update <laughs> to the shit. Scene. Maybe okay. In the meantime, you are dealing with that part. Uh, I don't know. I think it's actually mobs yeah, of enemies that is true, out there actually. ready for you to kill. Just I didn't pay attention to that to part because your best attack is to spam customer support for a refund. And it's not like my buddy Motels on the Moon is bad at games. We did a co-op live stream of Halo Two on Legendary difficulty. My f Wait, you play the game or you're just also hosting this or whatever the hell favorite you're doing? Favorite game, after which Motel said uh, it was just mediocre. That's your favorite game. Hey, I'm not going to judge people's favorite game mostly because I'm not a, an experienced... Well, I am an experienced gamer, but not the type of game that requires too many mechanics or knowledge or anything. My type of games are more adventure and having fun, which... League of Legends is clearly not one of those, but it's a freaking hard game and a game that pisses me off so much. And that Why hurt. do I play that? But game? come on, it's hours of getting slashed between walls and having a dog attack you with a shoulder roll. What dog in history has ever attacked with anything but its teeth? I realize that this game is You're complaining about that? Seriously? From Software put this game out on a Friday so that YouTubers wouldn't be expected to have a video up on Saturday or Sunday because YouTubers are going to have that Monday through Friday video, yeah? Giving everybody plenty of time to pre-order this garbage and not be able to get the refund. If you are suffering Wait, wh through a what sleepless is this night, then there? please I don't play understand. Elden Ring. It will induce narcolepsy. Is he saying that every YouTuber has the same time zone or the same time limit? Like, I don't understand that one. I can't even argue with that because I just don't understand his logic there. He may be right, but <coughs> I just don't understand his logic. I give Elden Ring a 2.0 out of 10. You do you. Yeah, you do you. I will never give you more than 10 bucks in three years. I break my controller in half out of aggravation and throw one half at my TV and destroy my entire system because these... Jesus Christ, bro. I, just nine seconds of this freaking thing is already uh, tragic. <laughs>